Yeah, food in Ghana. Uh, the basic formula is a lot of carbohydrate and maybe some beans or maybe some egg. But um, no, the food's really good and uh, it's not, I mean, it's not a lot of variety. It's usually the same sorts of things you'll be having some kind of carbohydrate, whether it's maybe bread or maybe it's rice or spaghetti, noodles, um, usually boiled. And then um, you'll have it with some sort of sauce. So bean stew, maybe some fish. There's a lot of fish, obviously, because we're in a fishing village. And uh, uh, that's the main sort of meat you'll get. Maybe a bit of chicken as well. There's not a huge amount of vegetables. Um, most of it is sort of blended in with the sauces and stuff. So you need to make sure you're eating the sauces, because otherwise you're going to lack a bit of a few vitamins and minerals and that sort of thing. OK, the, the food in Ghana is, is very, very incredible. Um, it can get a little bit monotonous, that's the only criticism, I, criticism I'd have, but it's of such a high quality and it's very, very, very tasty. Basically, the food we tend to eat is lots of rice, uh, mm. pasta, um, rice and stew is very common, um, it's, really, it's good. Yeah. It's good. That, like, Haven't gotten sick of it yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, when I first got here, I started, um, I tried all the new foods that I'd never even heard of before, and I found myself, like, kind of struggling, but I was like, I can push through this. Like, you're supposed to, like, be able to enjoy a food ten times after eating it, and I found myself not really enjoying some, and it's kind of just getting the guts to tell your host parents, because they'll understand. They completely understand. You just kind of... Do it gently and just say, this isn't for me, and they'll make the adjustments. Same with the portions. They're used to Ghanaian portions, which was like a mound of food this much. Yeah. And like, we're very, we're not used to it. And we've kind of like, they've noticed we haven't eaten all the food and they've making the portions, made the portions smaller. Yeah. And we got the, some. The street food might be a little scary at first, but it's really delicious. As soon as like, you just have to make sure you watch them cook it in front of you because then you know like, yeah. the, ch like the food is cooked thoroughly like, you're not gonna have food that sits around for a while, but mm -hmm. it's really good. Oh, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> Some special highlights would definitely be jollof rice, which is a sort of spicy orange rice, which tastes really, really good. You get it with cabbage and a little bit of egg as well. Fufu is something which uh, you definitely won't forget eating for the first time. I'm, I'm not gonna describe it because I'll ruin the surprise, but it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good. Um, and yeah, these sorts of things you'll have every every few days but then there's other things like you'll eat bread every day pretty much you'll eat rice every day you'll eat one of yam or plantain pretty much every day which are two potato-ish carbohydrates that you dip in sauce and it it for the first week it was a bit weird and it, uh, it was a lot more carbohydrate than i was used to but uh, my appetite went away a bit i lost quite a lot of weight which you might find when you come here as well but um in the, in, in the end, you'll realise that a lot of these foods, you're actually going to miss them when you go home. Right? So you become accustomed to it and definitely you'll end up really, really enjoying it. So not something to be afraid of, but it's a nice surprise. <laughs>